seven district councils virtual extraordinary council meeting on uh, today, Thursday, the 28th of May. Uh, once again, I'm your chairman, Councillor Stuart Hughes, and uh, all participants here today are taking part remotely and the meeting uh, being viewed online and recorded. Uh, so please bear this in mind uh, throughout the meeting. If in the event of a break in the internet connection or power cut, please bear with us as we try to reconnect. And if we're not able to reconnect after 15 minutes, the meeting will be adjourned and reconvened at a later date. So please check the uh, committee page of our website for further details. Now, during today's meeting, there will be uh, public participation to those who are pre-registered to speak, and I will be inviting public speakers to participate in the meeting at the appropriate time under item one. Please make sure all microphones are muted when you are not speaking to avoid any background noise levels. Please keep your point short and do not interrupt when someone else is speaking. And if you wish to comment, please raise your electronic blue hand and wait to be called. Now, all councillors have been sent the agenda for today's meeting. Uh, any members of the public who want to view the agenda can do so by visiting our website at eastdevon.gov.uk. So I will now start the uh, meeting uh, by doing a roll call of everyone uh, here present. And so when you hear your name, please confirm by saying present. Sarah, over to you. Thank you. Councillor Allen. Present. Councillor Armstrong. Present. Councillor Arnott. Present. Councillor Bailey. Present. Councillor Barrow. Present. Councillor Bickley. Present. Councillor Blakey. Present. Councillor Bloxham. Present. <coughs> Councillor Bond. Present. Councillor Brown. Present. Councillor Cagill. Present. Councillor Chamberlain. Present. Councillor Chapman. Councillor Chapman. Present. Councillor Chubb. Yes, present. Councillor Coleman. Present. Councillor Davy. Present. Councillor Desarum. Present. Councillor Dent. Present. Councillor Faithful. Present. Councillor Gardner. Present. Councillor Gazard. <coughs> Present. Councillor Hall. Present. Councillor Hartnell. Present. Councillor Hawkins. Present. Councillor Hayward. Present. Councillor Hayward. Present. Councillor Hookway. Present. Councillor Howe. Present. Councillor Hughes. Present. Councillor Ingham. Present. Councillor Jackson. Councillor Jackson. I'll come back to Councillor Jackson. Councillor Jarvis. Present. Councillor Jeffrey. Present. Councillor Johns. Present. Councillor Young. Present. Councillor Key. Councillor Key. Present. Councillor King. Present. Councillor Ledger. Present. Councillor Loudon. Present. 
Councillor Manley. Present. Councillor Man, thank you. Councillor McCollum. Present. Councillor McLaughlin. Present. Councillor Miller. Present. Councillor Moulding. Present. Councillor Parr. Present. Councillor Pepper. Present. Councillor Pook. Present. Councillor Pratt. Present. Councillor Ranger. Present. Councillor Rickson. Present. Councillor Rowland. Present. Councillor Rylance. Present. Councillor Skinner. Present. Councillor Taylor. Present. Councillor Thomas. Present. Councillor Twiss. Present. Councillor Wibley. Present. Councillor Woodward. Present. Councillor Rag. Present. Councillor Chris Wright. Present. Councillor Tom Wright. Present. And can I just come back to Councillor Jackson, please? Thank you. Present. Thank you. And officers, Chief Executive Mark Williams. Yeah, present. Henry Gordon Lennox. Present. Sue Howell. Present. Wendy Harris. Present. And Sarah Jenkins present. Chairman, I can confirm that the meeting is quiet. Right. Th thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Sarah. Um, item one on the agenda then is uh, public speaking. No members of the public are regi registered to speak uh, at the time of writing. But uh, have, you, have you got something there, Henry? Uh, yes, we have received one uh, request for a statement to be read out, Chair, um, which, if you wouldn't mind, uh, uh, Suha will do for you. Thank you. Sue? Okay. Okay, thank you, Chairman. It, the message reads as, we who have campaigned and supported independent candidates in Exmouth are delighted to see a chance to restore democracy as we felt utterly betrayed by the previous administration. Last May, we emphatically voted for change. With more candidates, we would have won even more seats. A flabby, complacent Tory one-party state had to come to an end. Sadly, the new administration was poorly led by a self-acclaimed leader, more interested in the idea of the job rather than showing any aptitude for leadership. We are delighted to welcome this new approach to local government, not tribal, but cooperative. Any Tory should not have a place in the long overdue new administration. Democracy must, not, must be preserved and seen to be preserved. The people spoke last May and spoke decisively. We did not vote for continuity, we voted for change. And that was sent in by Sally Goldsworthy. Thank you, Chair. Yeah, many thanks, Sue. Uh, item two, uh, apologies. Well, we haven't got any, unless we've got any from uh, any honorary alderman. Sue, no, any we have no apolo apologies. No apologies. I'm oh, no sorry. No apologies, Chairman. Sorry, Sarah. And uh, so uh, we want to uh, item three: declarations of interest. Members, if during the uh, meeting you wish to make a declaration, please raise your electronic blue hand and wait to be called. And please remember to unmute yourself and advise the type of interest and the reason. Um, right. So. Uh, any any declarations of interest? No, I haven't seen anybody. No, Sarah. No, there are no blue hands raised. Many thanks. So if we can move on to uh, item four: uh, the motion to elect a leader and receive the uh, leader's appointments. And uh, we're following the resignation of uh, Councillor Benningham as the uh, leader. 
council elect the new leader for the remainder of the civic year and that uh, council receive the leader's appointments of the deputy leader and the cabinet and their portfolios. So do I have a nomination for leader? No. Do I have a nomination for leader? I think they're probably waiting for you to call the blue hands, Chair, by the look of it. Well, I, I can't see those blue hands. No, so... So if... Uh, can we, can, we call I, can, can I just say, my blue hand is up. Yes, right, OK. Just Understood, go. Eileen. Uh, would you like us to call it then, Chair? Yeah, if you could. Similar to okay. Councillor Rag. Okay. Thank you. Wait, wait. Well, I'm, it, I'm, I would have great pleasure in nominating Councillor Paul Arnett to leader of East Devon District Council. Yeah. Um, Paul, um, I've got to know over the, the last year, and he is an excellent communicator, a very good listener, and he is respectful of everybody on the council across the parties. Um, he will fully consult with his cabinet. Um, and so, um, as I say, I'll be brief because we, you know, it's a short meeting anyway, um, but I would fully support um, his nomination to leader. I think it will lead this council into a better place than it's been for the last year. Um, so, Chairman, that's my nomination. Many thanks, uh, Councillor Rag. Do I have a seconder? Uh, yes, Mr Chair. I'd like to second that proposal for Paul Arnott as leader of this council. Many thanks. Are there any other nominations? You've got Councillor Wright waiting to speak by the look of it. Tom Wright, that is. Councillor Wright, Tom Wright. Thank you, Mr Chairman. Um, I propose Councillor Andrew Moulding to be the leader of East Devon District Council. I think it is very unfortunate that at this time of extreme crisis, some members are choosing to play politics and what is needed is ability, experience and integrity in steering this council and its residents through the emergency. Andrew has always been a man of great integrity, perhaps due to his love of cricket, which used to have epitome fair play. Many councillors will remember Andrew's spell as chairman when he conducted meetings with the utmost fairness, giving all members of all parties and none opportunities to express their views. He has always been willing to listen and to be persuaded. I was fortunate in, in attending an LGA training event with Andrew for a few days at Warwick University and during the three hour or so journey there and back during formal sessions and evening get-togethers, Andrew impressed me with his genuine commitment to all to do all he could to make lives better for all sections of our East Devon community. His views were valued by councillors on that course from all parts of England and indeed from all political parties. At this time, as I said, we need stability and experience and Andrew is exceptionally qualified in those areas. He is well respected, not only in East Devon, but throughout the county. I am confident that he will be able to build a team exploiting the talents present throughout all members of this council to steer us through the present situation and to build a cohesive and ambitious council going forward. Andrew has an outstanding record of community service both in Axminster and East Devon, and I can think of no one better suited to lead this council. He was also universally respected by the senior management team, and I have no hesitation in proposing Andrew as leader. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Many thanks. Do I have a seconder? Yes, Chairman, I'd like to second Mr. him. Paul. Thank you, Chairman. Well, I've never known such a difficult time for the council. It's a critical time for our funding and our finances. We anticipate a deficit of 5.3 million pounds due to the severe effect of COVID-19. How are we going to tackle it? How are we going to deliver the efficient, cost-effective, well-run services that East Devon residents want and they need? 
To do that, we have to ensure good financial management. And Councillor Moulding has the financial abilities, the experience, the knowledge needed to do that. He's served 33 years on East Devon District Council. During that time, he's held a wide cross section of chairmanships and portfolios, including chairman of economy and employment, chairman of amenities, portfolio holder for leisure, portfolio holder for finance and personnel, portfolio holder for strategic development and partnerships, deputy leader and chairman of the council. He has extensive experience and understanding of the council and of course, the district of East Devon. And particularly relevant is Councillor Moulding's five years experience as portfolio holder for finance and personnel, which gave him in-depth knowledge and understanding of local authority finance and managing employees. He has huge experience of close working with council staff over these years. These skills make him ideally suited to challenge to tackling the challenge of these times. And he has a proven track record. And compare this with the experience of the other candidate. Let's work together, provide stability for the good of residents, choose a leader to steer this council through these troubled times. Someone with deep knowledge of the council and its officers, an experienced safe pair of hands, a councillor moulding. So I second the motion. Thank you. Many thanks. Have we any other any other speakers? Yes, yes we Wendy? do, Chairman. Oh, Councillor yeah. Hartnell is next. Councillor Hartnell. Thank you, Chairman. The next leader of this council will face the biggest challenge of our time. That person needs to possess a wealth of skills and more importantly, have solid council experience to not only tackle the current crisis, but to engage with and gain the respect of all members. Councillor Moulding has a proven track record of working well with fellow councillors and our officers. As finance portfolio holder, he reformed the council's finances and as corporate services portfolio holder, he introduced systems thinking, which has given us a greater focus on customers and made us more efficient. Councillor Moulding, without doubt, is the right person for this critical time. With 33 years experience on this council, 24 years experience running his own business in Axminster and a wealth of experience from various portfolio holders portfolios including the role of deputy leader he demonstrates humility and shows respect for others i believe councillor molding has a unique ability to bring us all together to guide us through this crisis supporting our officers and most of all serving the residents of east devon thank you thank you councillor Arnold. wendy any others any councillor other speakers councillor disarren councillor right, bruce disarren thank you uh, thank you thank you chairman uh, thank you, members. Uh, I, I, I have um, three very good reasons to support Councillor uh, Andrew Moulding uh, as leader of this council. Firstly, he is one of the few councillors who has lived in this area all his life and understands the skills and needs of our electorate, not only in Axminster where he's based, but in all parts of the district. Andrew went on to serve as governor of Aix Valley Community College for over 20 years, which is a testament to his commitment to his local community. Secondly, as a result of his professional experience, he was appointed chairman of industry, employment and amenities, which meant that he traveled the length and breadth of East Devon on behalf of the council, gaining a valuable insight into his assets. In fact, many of you may not be aware that in this role, he secured a grant of half a, half a million pounds towards the funding necessary to develop the Flamingo swimming pool. This in itself is a great achievement, given that it's no easy task to do such high level fundraising. And finally, thirdly, he knows how to manage change effectively, being part of the successful team which moved the council to where we are situated today in Honiton, although I admit tonight we are only virtually present. Those vital skills in the next council year ahead will be absolutely essential to us all as we seek cost effective and very imaginative ways to fill the deficit left by the COVID-19 crisis. For these reasons, members, I have absolutely no hesitation in recommending Councillor Andrew Moulding to you as our next leader of this council. Thank you so much for your indulgence. Many thanks, Councillor Disarum. Any other speakers, uh, Wendy? No, no more speakers. No? Well, I better, better ask, are there any other nominations for leader of the council? 
there are none. And so we can uh, take the vote. I think we go straight to the vote. Uh, and I think um, the best way of doing this, we've got two candidates. So uh, you would either say Councillor Arnott or Councillor Moulding. Would that be a, a fair way of doing this, Henry? Yeah, that's absolutely right, Chair. I think it says going through the roll call twice. Yep, that's perfect. Fine. Okay, so, so Chairman, excuse me. Chairman, yeah. Chairman Councillor yeah. Armstrong has her hand up. Right, Councillor Armstrong. Uh, could we just have a, a recorded vote on this, please? Thank you. Recorded vote, so we're going to go round again. Right, well, hang on, uh, you, need, you, need, you need a seconder. Have you got a seconder? I'm sure I have somewhere. I'll second it, Councillor Jones. Thank you. Right, okay, so. We're so yeah, sorry. So, uh, Chair, so the first the first question now will be whether or not you want to have a recorded vote. You'll be asked whether you are in favour or whether you're against or whether you abstain. Right, OK. Sarah, over to you. Thank you. Councillor Allen. In favour. Councillor Armstrong. Four. Councillor Arnott. Four. Councillor Bailey. Four. Councillor Barrow. Four. Councillor Bickley. Four. Councillor Blakey. Four. Councillor Bloxham. Four. Councillor Bond. Four. Councillor Brown. Four. Councillor Cagill. In favour. Councillor Chamberlain. Four. Councillor Chapman. Councillor Chapman. I'll come back to Councillor Chapman. Councillor Chubb. Four. Councillor Coleman. Four. Councillor Davy. Four. Councillor Dasaram. Four. Councillor Dent. Four. Councillor Faithful. Four. Councillor Gardner. Four. Councillor Gazard. Councillor Gazard. Four. Thank you. Councillor Hall. Four. Councillor Hartnell. Four. Councillor Hawkins. Four. Councillor Hayward. Four. Councillor Hookway. Four. Councillor Howe. Four. Councillor Hughes. Four. Councillor Ingham. Four. Councillor Jackson. Four. Councillor Jarvis. Four. Councillor Jeffrey. Four. Councillor Johns. Four. Councillor Young. Four. Councillor Key. Councillor Key. Four. Councillor King. Four. Councillor Ledger. Four. Councillor Loudon. Four. Councillor Manley. Four. Councillor McCollum. Four. Councillor McLaughlin. Four. Councillor Miller. Four. Councillor Moulding. Four. Councillor Parr. Four. Councillor Pepper. Four. Councillor Pook. Four. Councillor Pratt. Four. Councillor Ranger. Four. Councillor Rickson. Four. Councillor Rowland. Four. Councillor Rylance. Four. Councillor Skinner. Four. 
Councillor Taylor? Four. Councillor Thomas? Four. Councillor Twist? Four. Councillor Wibley? Four. Councillor Woodward? Four. Councillor Rag? Councillor Rag? Oh, she proposed it. I'll come back to Councillor Rag. Councillor Chris Wright? Four. Councillor Tom Wright? Four. Thank you. And then I have to go back to Councillor Chapman. Just joining again, Sarah. Thank you. I think to be fair, Chair, it's pretty clear that it's a recorded well, vote. I, I was going to say, I think, I, think, <laughs> I think it's pretty uh, straightforward. We've got a, a recorded vote. And so uh, if we can now move on to the recorded vote. So it's either Councillor Arnott or Councillor Moulding. And uh, so when you're called, uh, then just answer. Sarah. Thank you, Chairman. Councillor Allen. Councillor Moulding. Councillor Armstrong. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Arnott. <laughs> <laughs> Councillor Bailey. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Barrow. Councillor Moulding. Councillor Bickley. Councillor Arnott. Mm. Councillor Blakey. Abstain. Councillor Bloxham. Abstain. Councillor Bond. Abstain. Abstain. Councillor Brown. Councillor Moulding. Councillor Cagill. Councillor Moulding. Councillor Chamberlain. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Chapman. I think Councillor Chapman's joining the meeting. We'll come back. Councillor Chubb. Moulding. Councillor Coleman. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Davy. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Dasaram. Councillor Moulding. Councillor Dent. Councillor Moulding. Councillor Faithful. Abstain. Oh. Councillor Gardner. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Gazard. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Moulding, and I think we need some muters. <laughs> Councillor Hartnell. Um, Councillor Moulding. Councillor Hawkins. Abstain. Councillor Hayward. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Hookway. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Howe. Councillor Moulding. Councillor Hughes. Councillor Moulding. Councillor Ingham. Councillor Moulding. Councillor Jackson. Councillor Arnold. <laughs> Councillor Jarvis. I abstain. Councillor Jeffrey. Councillor Arnott. <laughs> Councillor Johns. Councillor Arnott. <laughs> Councillor Young. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Key. Moulding. Councillor King. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Ledger. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Loudon. Arnott. <laughs> Councillor Manley. Councillor Arnott. Councillor McCollum. 
Councillor McLaughlin. Thank you, Councillor McLaughlin. Sorry, Councillor Arnott. Councillor Miller. Arnott. Councillor Moulding. Moulding. Councillor Parr. Moulding. Councillor Pepper. Councillor Moulding. Councillor Pook. Abstain. Councillor Pratt. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Ranger. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Rickson. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Rowland. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Rylance. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Skinner. Councillor Moulding. Councillor Taylor. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Thomas. Abstain. Councillor Twiss. Andrew Moulding. Councillor Wibley. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Woodward. Councillor Arnott. Councillor Rag. Councillor Rag. I'll come back to Councillor Rag. Councillor Ar Councillor Arnott. Sorry, I'm having thank problems. You. I got disconnected. Okay, thank you. 